Hey everybody, um, <clears throat> I'm back again and I'm going to show you this one little trick that I've always kind of uh, liked. We're going to balance the chemical equations using uh, no knowledge of chemistry whatsoever with matrices. I'm going to just do one simple example. You can go apply it however you want. Be warned though, um, I like to poke fun of all my chemistry uh, major friends uh, with this. And they also say that this isn't legitimate when you get into a little more complex things with like, like uh, I guess reactions that include like uh, burning oxygen. I don't really know. I'm not a chemistry major. I don't know anything about chemistry. But, you know, this is just kind of a funny thing. It was in my linear algebra book that I looked at last year and uh, figured, you know what, why not do an example because it actually does work out for the most part. So, uh, what we're going to do here we want to find uh, these, uh, these coefficients here that balance this equation. And so we're going to use a matrix. But first, let me show you the way I like to write these things. So <clears throat> this, this one here we're going to call x1. So anything in this equation is x1. Anything in this equation is x2, x3 here, and x4 all the way over here. So now we need to uh, label each of the uh, elements we have here. So we're going to do, we're going to have one here for carbon, one here for hydrogen, one here for oxygen. So we have six carbons here in our first equation. So for that we're going to have 6x1 and then each of these are going to equal something on the other side. So we're going to have one carbon here which is going to be 1x3 or x3. You're sort of legible. Um, okay, it's still good on the camera. So then we're going to do the same for hydrogen. Um, and if there were if there were carbons here, we would add it, we would add it with x two, but they're not. It's a simple equation. So here we have six carbons. So same thing, six or six hydrogens um, in x one. So we're going to do that. And then all the way over here, we have two hydrogens in x four. So then uh, we're going to do the same thing with oxygen. And excuse me for going a lot. I've noticed that I do that. Um, so we have two oxygens here, there I go again, two oxygens here in X2, and then one over here in X4. So now we need to write this as a matrix. So that's just what we're going to do. So we're going to have carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen rows, and then our X1, X2, X3, X4 rows, and then we're going to write this as an augmented matrix with everything equaling zero. So uh, we're going to move each of these things over, so we'll just fill it in. We have six carbons, nothing for x2, nothing for x4, and we have one for x3, but we're going to move it over to this side, so we're going to have to say negative one. It's just, just how we, we're doing it since it's in a matrix. And then same thing with uh, hydrogen, uh, except we're going to have negative two x4, so just ne negative two, and zero, zero. And then oxygen, zero here, two here, zero here, negative one here. <coughs> So that's our matrix. So we need to solve, I mean you could solve these as a system of equations, but I like using matrices because they're useful. So we're going uh, re to reduce, we're going to apply a reduced row echelon form to this. We're going to get this matrix. Okay, so if we rewrite this, back as a system of equations, we have our x1 is equal to one third x4. So everything's going to be in terms of x4. And we're going to also move these over back to the other side to make them positive. Then x2 is equal to one half x4 x3 is equal to 2, x4. Now, you know, we could plug these things in, but we're going to get x4s here and fractions, and that doesn't mean anything when it comes to chemistry. You can't have a fraction of, a, of an element for what I know. I don't know, there might be some crazy nuclear chemistry, but I don't even know. So we're just going to say, you know, we need to make all these whole numbers, so we need to pick a good number that does that. So if we let x4 equal 6, then 
We plug that in, everything, and we get x1 is equal to 2, x2 is equal to 3, and x3 is equal to 12. And then we can simply rewrite our equation, filling in each of these. So we have <coughs> 2C6H6 plus 3C. O2, and that goes to 12 carbon plus 6 H2O. And if I did everything right, we're going to balance that. Yep, 6 carbons times 2, 12, 12, 6. That's 12, 12, and then 6, 6. Wow, we balanced it. We used math. I didn't have to know anything about chemistry. Pretty cool if you ask me. I know there'll be some people ranting and raving about how this actually isn't legitimate. But you know what? It is for this kind of real simple thing. So if you enjoy this more, do it this way. Albeit, it is a little longer than probably doing it in your head. But for a longer one, maybe it isn't. So thanks, guys and gals.